How about good morning? Good morning. Good morning. Today uh, we're going to do something a little differently. So what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to talk about interviewing for jobs. Okay? And how that works. And um, the way we're going to do this is I'm going to have a couple of you come up and uh, interview for a job. And I will be the interviewer. And this will be on video. Then what we'll do <coughs> is that will go across and um, I'm going to give you a, a list of questions that um, talk about interviewing. Now this is on a, uh, this is on a professional level. So uh, what we'll do is, um, and now don't worry about it, it's not going to affect your grade. <laughs> but it's, um, it's good experience and something that, um, uh, that will help you as you, um, as you go forth in your career. You'll learn by watching and um, those who are lucky enough, like Austin, who says he's ready, no. <laughs> do you want to do it, Austin? Well, might as well, right? <laughs> sure. And um, it'll kind of give you a, uh, a feeling for what happens in the job market. But uh, the roll's all out, and um, we'll, uh, we'll give this a try. And we'll probably uh, cut class off early. Is that okay with you, Kathy? Okay, all right. And um, Missy is uh, preparing some of those uh, forms so you can follow along. Because I got, um, I got hit between the eyes with this one this morning and I, I apologize for not having John T. here. But um, the, uh, the thing that, we all, uh, that you all want to realize is uh, is number one, at some point you're going to uh, be facing a job interview if you're going to work for a company. And uh, if, if that's the case, a little preparation isn't a bad thing. Now, along with that, you have a, uh, a situation that where you have a job, and I'm going to pass out a, uh, something on informational interviewing. Do you know what that is? Okay, Ben? I do not. Okay. Let's say, let's say that you want to find out about a, an area of business, a company, if you will, or some, uh, you know, some line. And what you do on an inter informational interview is you find somebody that does that. And you say to them, can I come and uh, follow you around a day or two to see what you do? And that helps you do what? To understand the stuff that you want. Yeah. And most people would have no problem with that. You'd say, I won't interfere with what you're doing. I just want to follow you around and see how it works. And it gives, uh, it gives you an idea of what that business is like. Not a bad thing. But in addition, it, um, the guy that you're uh, following around is going to get to know you, isn't he? So if it's something that you like, then he's got you in mind. And at the end of the time, you say, you know, I really would kind of like to do this. And I've got, so what do I need to do to prepare myself for this job? He'll say, well, you've got to take 37 classes of accounting. You've got to do, no, whatever, the, whatever those needs are. But it can help you prepare for that. So with that, um, now, Austin, if you really don't want to come down, we can have somebody else. Are you OK with coming down? All right. For start, we'll do two. 
And I will pass these out, and you guys will get a, a chance to, uh, to look this stuff over. And, um, and Austin gets, a, uh, gets extra credit today for, um, let's see, for what he's going, uh, you know, for coming down first. Because first is always the toughest. Okay? And this is going to be the uh, professional interview uh, feedback sheet. This is what you'll use, and so kind of get an eye from, uh, idea from this. And again, I made part of them. But um, uh, so that you'll have, this is what, when you do your assignment, instead of doing the five, uh, what did I like, what did I dislike, uh, you can kind of, uh, uh, kind of answer these questions and how you felt about the interviews that uh, you saw. And um, now realize that the first, um, the first question says, did the candidate come prepared and dressed appropriately for a professional employment interview? <laughs> <laughs> Now, with that in mind, we're going to imagine that Austin ha uh, is dressed how? Professionally. How, do, how what is professionally? Dress pants, tie, dress shirt. Coat and tie. Yeah, button shirt. Be good. Preston clean. Yeah, pressed and clean. Probably depends on the industry, right? Well, so you know, he's probably you know, I work I work at an IT company, and when people wear suits to interviews, they stick out like a sore thumb, and it really looks funny. Yeah. Okay. Um, all that being said, don't wear sweats to an IT interview either. There is. <laughs> you're right. There is that. So, what would you do, uh, Ben? And in the case of uh, that company, would you go online and find out a little bit about them before yeah, you went to the interview? It would help to look around during an, an informational interview and to see how. All the other colleagues are dressed, and how he's dressed. Or yeah. He, she is dressed. Excuse me. Exactly. And can you? Um, you may have a contact in that company, or someone that can say, "Hey, how do you guys dress? If I come to an interview, what would I be expected to wear?" Now, with that said, if everybody is wearing a T-shirt. Uh, would it be appropriate to wear a shirt and pants? It'd be a little bit, be a little bit dressed above the level. Yeah. But not in a tux, <laughs> right? <laughs> Makes sense? Okay. So, um, <coughs> let's kind of get started. Austin, you want to come down? Well, yeah, I do. Okay. Now I'm going to pass this out while Austin's coming down because he's going to get he's going to get hit with these. And these will prepare you. This says 10 tough interview questions and 10 great answers. And we'll kind of split those around. Go, um, okay, hang on just a second. And uh, again, share these. Good, how are you? Rick I'm, Lambert. My name is Austin. Austin Peterson. <laughs> Austin Peterson? Yep, that's me. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Would you have a chair? Yeah, please. Thank you. And you get that, okay? Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Now, Austin, um, I understand that you've uh, we've we've had several people that have applied for this job, and you're one of the five candidates that we've chosen to interview for this job. And uh, what I want to know from you, Austin, is I want you to tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, so, some things that you should probably know about me is that um, one thing that from this interview that you should get is that number one, I'm very punctual. Um, if you, you know, set a time for me, I'm gonna be there. Um, 
I recently graduated high school a couple years ago, and I uh, never miss a day of school. So that's pretty cool. Um, from kindergarten to 12th grade, never miss a single day. So that's pretty spectacular, I guess. Excellent. Um, Excellent. Yeah, so that's, that's really one thing that really makes me unique compared to other people. Um, I'm graduating end of the semester with my associate degree um, and then plan to go to the U for another about five years and uh, get a bachelor's and then a master's degree. So. And what are you going to study? Um, I'm studying business and then I'm going to get a master's degree in um, uh, my MBA and then um, also a master's in hospital administration. So. Okay, hospital yeah. administration. Yeah. So that's why you've you've come to this uh, this interview to yes. this clinic uh, yes to uh, get a uh, part time job yeah exactly in the area so and um, do you know other people in the uh, in this clinic do you know what we do um, yes I know what I'm <laughs> applying for um, I w don't know anyone in the clinic per se but uh, I'm very knowledgeable you know I know like medical terminology. Um, I know kind of the, how to run a clinic per se. Um, you know how to run a clinic? Yeah, oh, all the good. paperwork and administrative duties, I can do that, so. So with your accounting and your MBA, you'd be, uh, you'd be our. Great candidate, yes. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. And what would you, uh, what would you expect to uh, see from us if you are working part time? What would be your long term goal here? Um, I think if I were, I, I applied to this job to get experience. Um, I think that I'll need experience, you know, clinical experience when I um, go on to get my MBA or my MHA. Um, so I think this is a great, you know, first step in reaching that goal. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you a team player? Uh, depends on the team. Just, just kidding. Um, <laughs> okay. Maybe basketball. Maybe yeah, yeah. I'm definitely a team player. Um, in terms of working with people, I definitely, uh, definitely am. Um, when I know when you get your MBA, a lot of the uh, the courses that you take revolve around teamwork, and I definitely am used to working with teams and become a natural leader that I am so so your high school experience did you uh, lead some teams in high school um, I played soccer a little bit but other than that not not too much um, I did some I'm not just talking about sports here <laughs> yeah um, I guess you can say that I wouldn't say I led my high school you know I was a uh, part of the uh, student body um, I was a student body officer in uh, junior high but other than that no not really Kind of, I did. I academically I did very well. You know, um, I 4.0 cumulative average. Um, took a lot of AP classes, honors classes, but in terms of leading the school, yeah, I guess academically, sure. Okay. Did you ever? Have you ever had a conflict with any boss or or uh, teacher that you um, have been around? Um. I wouldn't say I had any conflicts, you know, you kind of adapt to your situations if you, you know, if you have a conflict with someone, you kind of resolve it, but um, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say that, um, I'm very sociable, I think, and uh, I think that, um, that if a conflict did arise, you know, I would diffuse it and we'd settle our differences, you know, through communication and verbal communication and, you know, positive attitudes, so. Okay, great. Positive attitude. That's great. So, if you were to live your uh, your long life over again, yeah, what would you change? <sighs> what would you do differently, Austin? Well, since I'm 30 years old, <laughs> my long life, um, I think. I don't know what I would change. I mean, trying to, I'm trying to think of a situation, you know, and I don't know, I think I've, I've, I've had a pretty good life. Not, not too, many, too many problems. I think I could be more dedicated um, towards maybe some schoolwork. Um, 
Well, uh, you, you um, got a 4.0. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think. So. Yeah. So. But yeah. Uh, okay. I'm pretty pretty golden that way. I don't think I have too many negative experiences. So. So you probably wouldn't change anything, would you? No, not not that I can truly think of. So. Okay. No. When would you be available to work? As soon as possible, you know. I uh, recently graduated, so I'm ready to join the workforce. So. And how Whenever many hours ready. a week can you work with going to school? Um, going to school, so I could probably do like a solid 30. I know that's probably a little bit more than part-time, but um, I think 30 is pretty, okay. pretty perfect. All right. So. Yeah. Do you have any questions of me about the uh, clinic? Yeah, so I was curious, you know, what, what would be my job duties um, in terms of day-to-day? -day? Um, I was looking on the website and I didn't see any, you know, um, objectives, you know, what I'd be doing. So I was curious if you could help me out with that, you know, what, what my day-to-day -day duties would be like, what I'd be in charge of and that sort of thing. We're going to start you out uh, assisting one of the uh, professional assi uh, assistants to the doctors. Okay. And uh, you would be on a computer. Uh, helping, um, helping them put in the, um, uh, the, uh, the um, <laughs> those things, right? The yeah, word has things. slipped my mind. I'm sorry, but uh, putting in the data that the uh, doctors uh, put in notes in there and and uh, and and putting it in an orderly fashion for each patient. In addition, you may uh, you may end up on uh, helping out with small procedures over time. You wouldn't be doing that at first, but that's something that could be done down the line. Yeah. With the idea that you get an idea of how the uh, of how the uh, uh, the uh, operation works, so that you can, with your schooling, pick up. Um, pick up tips along that would help us be more efficient and a better clinic. Yeah. Do you have any other questions? No, that's, that's golden for me. You know, I was curious, and this is probably a good question, you know, um, how much um, would I be expecting to make? Um, would you happen to know that or? I do, and we will get back with you uh, with an offer on that. Perfect. If you are the one we chose. Perfect, hopefully I'm the one. Now the question you'd want to ask now is, I would like to get back to you. When can I get back to you? Would that be a reasonable question? Yeah. When when can and I get back to when, you? Yeah, when will this decision be made on who of the five? Is that the question you'd want to ask, isn't it? Yeah. And then I'd say, well, we would we would be um, we would be making a decision by Tuesday of next week. And what would you say then? Be like, I will be looking forward to a call Tuesday then. What you would say is, would, would you mind if I call you Tuesday in the afternoon? And I would say, if you would call me after 3 o'clock, I would be available. And then you would ask for my business card. And I would hand you my business card. Thanks, Mr. And we would and, and thank you very much for coming in. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you. He did great, didn't he? Extra credit, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Kathy Prestwich. I'm Kathy Prestwich? In your business management assistant position. Okay. Rick Lambert, it's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And Kathy? Oh, that was a vice handshake, sorry about Sit that. down. Okay. You gave me a vice handshake? I did, that was a little strong, huh? I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is how not to do it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> how many years it's been since I've had an interview? We won't say, but okay. How many years has it been since you've had an interview, Kathy? <laughs> 35. 35 years since you've had an interview. Yes. And what have you been doing in the meantime? I've been a wife and a mother full time. <laughs> Involved with school um, 
I've had some, I've had my own business during that time. I had a balloon business for five years so that I could work at home. Well, actually, okay. <laughs> Just, you don't need to hold it right in front of your mouth. That's okay. okay. Well, during that time, um, I became a wife and a mother, and I worked part-time um, off and on um, at the place that I worked before I got married. And as I had more children, it became harder to find a babysitter, so I, I formed my own business, um, a balloon business. And a balloon business? Mm -hmm. Helium balloon. I'd, I'd make bouquets, and I even um, did <coughs> uh, some <coughs> sculpture things for American Express. Um, yeah, we, we had a lot of fun, but then when the kids started saying, don't want to go with you in a car filled with balloons, that's when I started teaching piano part-time, and then I just got pretty involved with my kids with their education, PTA, <coughs> volunteer and responsibilities, so. Wow. Yeah, I kept busy. That's terrific. <laughs> now I'm a grandma, so it's been fun. Well, Grandma Prestwich? Yes. Why would you, why do you want this, uh, why do you want to come and work for us? Well, I've heard very good things about your company, and I've read about um, how you're doing well um, with this economy even, and that you have integrity and you do good things for the community. I want to be a part of that. Is it important to do good things for the community in your mind? It is very important. And being involved in PTA and some of these other things uh, kind of exemplifies that, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Okay. It can All make right. a difference. Okay. Uh, if we hired you, where would we see you? Where would you expect to be in five years? What would you want if we hire you as an assistant? Because you've had your own business, mm -hmm. you've uh, got flexibility, and uh, would you be wanting to stay with the company? I could see myself with the company in five years and maybe advancing through the ranks, taking on more leadership roles. Um, beside assisting. And as you took these leadership roles, would uh, if would the hours bother you? Because it may not be eight to five anymore. Well, since my youngest in five years would possibly be out of the home, I could do that. <laughs> okay. And so during this time, it's good to be home with, uh, is, is he in junior high? Is that what you're telling me? It's important me? to me. My daughter is in junior, junior high. Junior, okay. She is in junior yes. high. Okay, great. So I kind of like to keep the eight to five. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Sure. So that you're home when she's home. Right. But I'm willing on special occasions to put forth more work or work from home even, so. Okay. Have you done uh, Have you done work in the community that uh, you could tell me about? That's uh, since you have an interest in yes. what we do outside. What tell me about what you did? I've been involved with Festival of Trees for the past twelve years. Okay. And um, let's see. Before that, before I, I got officially involved, I I did um, donate a tree with a friend who had lost her little boy, and and I just. Um, could see the importance of the healing that takes place, and so I got on a committee and um, did that for a while until I started school, and, and so um, I, I still do the invoicing on opening night, which I did 12 years ago as well, so. Um, oh, that. I'm sorry. And also I'm, I'm very involved in my religious affiliation spend a lot of hours in service there. Okay, okay. Now, how has your education prepared you for this uh, job? Well, um, previously, before I got married, I worked as a legal secretary, and um, before that, I did a little bit of, of restaurant, um, what you call, um, waitressing 
And so I, I've had some experience with people and business and um, also having my own um, business. I, and um, I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? <laughs> I'm not nervous or anything. <laughs> You're fine. Relax. Uh, what's prepared me? I yeah, think being a mom and dealing with teenagers and difficult situations, um, emergencies, things like that, and having to you know, run a budget and <coughs> take care of decisions and anyway, supporting a husband who's busy with work and other things, um, service things that yeah, I, I think I can stand on my feet and think. So you have an addition to your bachelor's, which is a BS, you have an MRS. There you go. Which is better than an MBA sometimes, isn't it? Well, it and can you, add. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Do you have any questions of me about the company? Yes. Where do you expect to be five years from now? Okay. Not you personally, but the company. We, uh, we are on a, uh, on a path to merge with two other companies and go nationwide, which would give us, a, it would give us an opportunity for our people to move to different parts of the country. If the opportunity presented itself, and one of those areas is uh, Washington, D.C., would you be willing to move with your husband to Washington, D.C. when the uh, kids are gone? I would definitely consider it. Okay. It would have to be a joint decision, but yeah. You'd want to, uh, you'd want to ask your husband, and I respect that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I think if he could see that it would be a good opportunity, yeah. he would support me. And with that, uh, there would be a lot of opportunities, uh, not only here in Utah, but on the... Uh, uh, in the Seattle, uh, Portland area. Would that okay. have any appeal? Possibly, yeah. All kinds? Actually, yes, because it's closer to family, so. You have a family in that area? No, in the western part of the United States. So. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, Kathy, thank you for coming in. Thank you for your time. When do you think I could call you and follow up on this? You are one of three candidates okay. that we have coming in. And uh, realizing that we looked at 40, and uh, with the resume that you gave me, along with two others, uh, were the most impressive to come and meet. Well, thank and you. I appreciate you coming in. Well, thank you for your time. Now, in addition, uh, you asked me when we would have an answer. Our board will meet on Monday and uh, we should have an answer by Wednesday. Okay, how about if I call you um, Wednesday, say four o'clock p.m.? Four o'clock would be fine, I'll be in the office. Great, and may I get a business card from you as well? Yes, you may, Kathy. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Cesar Agustin Maradiaga, but everyone who knows me just calls me Caesar. Can I call you Caesar? Would that be okay? <laughs> that would be absolutely perfect. Thank you. My name is Rick Lambert, and I am glad you came in today, Caesar. It's a pleasure to be would here. Would you have a seat? And um, so, Caesar. Um, you've gone through uh, three or four interviews to this point. This is the final interview. And you've passed along with five other candidates. And uh, this, is the, this is the one that uh, determines who gets the job. Okay? Yes, sir. So why should I hire you, Caesar? I pride myself on being able to meet expectations as well as not succumbing to pressure. I am actually, I thrive under pressure. And I absolutely love working with other people who 
thrive under pressure as well. I like taking moderate risk. I'm not afraid of taking small risk and doing what needs to be done. Okay. Give me an example of how you thrive under pressure. What pressure have you dealt with? Well, uh, many times, like sometimes there's time constraints. Like we have a project that needs to be done, but we've got two days to do it. All for it. I will work and I will not sleep until that project is done. I will not go home. I will not eat. I will not sleep until it is done. Okay. <laughs> So with that, so some of the uh, some of the things we have, and it's, this is programming, and um, what we're looking for is somebody to head the team of programmers. And you work well under pressure, and you said you're a team player. Absolutely. Now, if you have a project that's very difficult, and your team cannot quite get the answer even though you're working and the deadline is Tuesday and you're working all day and night what would you do first of all I would inform all the the client or the firm that we are currently contracted with to work on this project we will uh, request an extension and uh, we will as needed find more people that we need to get it done quickly and we will requisition any and all resources that will help meet the new demand. Now, would this be a team decision? Uh, I would um, look for advice from my team to see what it is we need, what kind of knowledge we need, what tools we need, the kind of assistance we need. Uh, overall, working, I like to push my team to think for themselves, come up with ideas. I love receiving ideas. I'm some, uh, I've got like an orp open door policy. If anyone's got an idea, I just love it for them to shout it out. Very good, very good. Why is a uh, manhole cover round? <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, by design, it is useful. Uh, it could be uh, easy to manufacture. Uh, it would be also just the easiest shape to keep track of. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, since it's round, you can't poke anyone with it. <laughs> okay. Now, being the uh, being the aggressive but team player that you are. Have you ever had a conflict or problem with a former employer? Unfortunately, uh, conflict is inevitable. However, uh, I have learned you know, through various communication practices that there's really nothing that can't be resolved amicably. And okay. Just you know, communication and uh, give and take. Uh, and just otherwise, just being aware that there are uh, expectations placed on both myself and on my employer. He expects things of me, and he has expectations that he must as well meet, not just myself and my team. Okay. Now, realizing, Caesar, that this would be a, uh, a level three responsibility, and there are six levels in the company. You would be reporting to a manager who is on level four, who is over your team and four other teams. So if you have a problem and he tells you uh, a, an answer that you don't like, how do you handle that? I would, first of all, uh, request information as to why exactly and uh, whether or not I'd be able to whether we could make any modifications that we could both benefit from. Okay uh, and in that uh, situation if you were meeting if I was if I was your manager uh, would you be talking 80% or listening 80%? 
I like to think of myself as uh, talking and listening 50-50. Okay. And if that manager said, I want to do all the talking and I want you to listen, are you okay with listening 80%? Absolutely. And what would you do after he talked 80% and gave you very little opportunity to express your side of the problem? Uh, well, I would ask any questions that I would need to, clarify anything that needs to be clarified, and then I would tell him, um, I may contact you later via email or a memo or something uh, if I run into any problems or have anything I need in addition. Okay. What, uh, what questions do you have about our company? Oh, very good. Um, I was thinking about not just working here, but also investing here. Um, I would also like, um, I would like to think about, uh, I noticed that you guys have like a very, that you guys like to promote from within. I'd like to know how exactly, you know, what are the best qualifications for candidates who do actually get promoted from within this company? Good question, Caesar. You're coming in, like I said, at a level three. We generally would bring up a level two person to do that. In this case, we don't have anyone quite trained enough at level two to bring up. And you and the other candidates seem to have those qualifications. So we're going outside our normal uh, promote from within to fill a need because we have some very, uh, very uh, high volume work that we need to do in a, uh, in, a short, in a short time. So with that, uh, with that said, are you prepared to hit the ground running? Absolutely. And you've said you would work night and day Whatever is required and needed, I will do it. Okay. Um, very good. I, um, I think uh, we, can, uh, we can look at you as, uh, as a very good potential candidate. And um, we're going to be making a decision, since we're in a hurry, uh, we'll be making that decision later today. And uh, we should have an answer for you uh, by noon tomorrow. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, I'm, I hope you got the letter that I've already sent you, the introduction, and the, I, I outlined that I was very grateful for this opportunity to interview with you. Also, I've, uh, I've put forward- I have that, that right here in front of me. Yes. <laughs> In that letter, I, I outlined uh, all the different ways you can communicate with me. And I actually already have your contact information from the secretary out front. I'm uh, looking forward to hearing from you, sir. Okay. Thank you, Caesar. Mm -hmm.